From the earliest days of our species, humans have been obsessed with what lies below our waves. Sea monsters have been a focal point in mythological lore for as long as it has existed. And our lakes and oceans provide the perfect layer of mystery for our imaginations to run wild with what they may contain. As we enter the modern era of technology, we've discovered that some previously thought legends of the deep do indeed exist, and that humanity has only scratched the surface of what lies beneath the surface. Our innate curiosity has resulted in us turning our cameras towards the water, and because of that, we are able to catch glimpses of the following 10 identified sea monsters caught on film. Number 10. Our first clip comes from Alaska, when some tourists noticed the moment a huge aquatic creature surfaced during a glacier collapse. The video appears to show seven separate, thin-looking black objects that are poking out of the water, before the creature makes its way back into the icy depths. Whatever this creature was beneath the surface, it definitely appears to be massive. The spines or fins on its back are a very interesting feature, and some online are calling it almost dragon-like. Some have speculated that when the glacier collapsed, the noise or displacement of the water disturbed the creature and caused it to come to the surface. These waters provide a pretty harsh environment for any animal, so the fact that such a large creature could survive and thrive here is very impressive. Perhaps in the future, the creatures of this area will be more understood and will have a more definitive answer of what this anomaly was. But for the time being, the short clip remains a mystery. Number 9 Staying close by, we have another video filmed in Alaska, and it was actually recorded by the Bureau of Land Management, a government agency. This long, snake-like creature was filmed swimming in the Chena River in Fairbanks, Alaska, back in 2016. The video went viral and landed itself on many news broadcasts across the country, sparking a large amount of discussion about what the creature could possibly be. Some say that this is a gigantic she-fish, which is a member of the whitefish family native to Alaska. Others claim that it is simply a large piece of rope that has accumulated ice on top of it. Others still say that it is a giant serpent or unidentified aquatic monster. The debate still rings under this day. While I'm not sure what it is myself, I'm thankful to have such a decent quality video to hold a discussion around instead of the normal blurry messes that we have come to expect with this sort of thing. Regardless of its true identity, it looks like the freezing cold temperatures aren't the only thing keeping me out of the Alaskan waters now. Number 8 From extremely cold waters to some a bit more tolerable, we head down to Florida to take a glimpse at what is being called the Florida Sea Monster. Several snippets of film were compiled into a video in an attempt to identify mysterious aquatic creatures that were seen around the state. There are definitely some very strange and convincing shots scattered throughout the compilation that leave myself and other viewers puzzled. While certain pieces of the video have been widely accused of simply being manatees, I don't think that every sighting can be summarized that easily. I'll keep playing some of the more interesting shots in the background for a while, and you can decide for yourself what you think these are. And please let me know your thoughts in the comments on this one. Number 7 At number 7, we have our first video being recorded on an underwater dive. Recorded back in 2012 at around 5,000 feet beneath the surface of the Gulf of Mexico, this giant, gelatinous blob has been a point of mystery and contention for nearly a decade. The strange creature appears to be completely free-flowing as it ebbs and flows with the underwater current in a very odd display. It appears able to expand and contract its entire form. As it grows larger, the longer it is on camera. 
There also appears to be a very veinier vascular system throughout its thin outer layer, adding to what is a very alien looking mass. At one point in the filming, the creature displays more than just its fleshy outer layer and reveals what resembles its guts, innards, or organs. Whatever the creature's true identity, this is one of the most interesting creatures ever captured on camera and is without a doubt worthy of the term sea monster. At this point, it is believed to be a rare species of a giant jellyfish, but that appears to just be the leading assumption. It's always amazing just how alien-like some of the creatures beneath our waves can be. At around 6 minutes of on-screen time, the creature decided to peace out and exited the frame, as it sank further into the murky depths. It's crazy to think that every time you get into the ocean, you're sharing a body of water with guys like this. Number 6 Next up, we have another deep sea dive camera recording from March of 2013. Recorded at the depth of 3,753 feet, or 1,144 meters beneath the surface of the Indian Ocean off the east coast of Africa. The video begins with the ROV capturing an incredibly peculiar looking creature that looks like a straight up company logo. Even though the creature is strange enough in the state, we're just getting started. As the mysterious alien looking creature begins to slowly descend down further, it decides to completely change its shape and form right before our eyes. Now it emits a beautiful colored lights from what looks to be its head. It gets up close and personal with the camera, so we get a great look at the entirety of this strange and unique creature. After performing a rotational dance in front of the vehicle, it appears to split apart and move away erratically and quickly. This is, without a doubt, one of the strangest creatures I've ever seen, and I have absolutely no idea what it is. I wasn't able to find much information about the actual species or origin of the creature in the film anywhere. If you have any more information on it, I would love to hear about it. Number 5 Halfway through our list, we're returning to form with what would be considered a classic sighting of a sea monster, or in this case, a lake monster. This video was recorded in 2013, in Loch Foyle on the northern coast of Ireland. The boys are recording were out on the water filming a short film called Fishing with David Lynch, which is why the man in front is wearing a suit while fishing, as it was a part of his costume. However, they didn't expect to record what came next. The clip provides some clear imagery of a gigantic creature making its way throughout the water. However, most of it lies beneath the surface. Just enough props above the water to clearly signal that this creature is indeed monstrous. Those recording in the nearby boats are all communicating their confusion and surprise at the gigantic beast, even asking each other, do you think it's a monster? Seven years later, no one has been able to confidently identify the creature that was seen that day. The theories range from a gigantic turtle all the way down to Godzilla. It's still up for debate, and as far as we know, the creature was never seen again. Number 4 Let's head back beneath the waves, as we check out a clip from what appears to be a Russian remotely operated underwater vehicle. In the video description, it claims that this footage was recorded by the NOAA, or the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Scientists were checking on an oil tank about 1700 feet below the surface when they witnessed one of the strangest events I've ever seen recorded. When several fish pass into frame, one appears to be stopped in its tracks as it is hit with a very spear looking object. The camera pans out in order to see the fish struggling, just as an incredibly strange creature darts in out of nowhere to take the fish. As far as I've seen, no one has been able to identify the creature that darted past the camera. Some have speculated that the entire video is produced with computer-generated imagery, while others are adamant that this is the real deal. If it is fake, it's certainly an interesting premise and it's quite well made. The creature in the video appears to be extremely fast, especially for something that has to cut through water. Let me know what you think, because this is a strange one. Number 3 
Our next footage has an air of mystery surrounding Anta, as I was unable to find much information at all regarding its origins. However, the backstory is that people of Seneca, New York have been hearing legends of a monster, very much like the Loch Ness Monster in their local Seneca Lake for decades. This video popped up on YouTube back in 2009, appearing to show very old footage, supposedly recorded by a man who had been monitoring Seneca Lake ever since he first saw the creature with his own eyes. This footage shows a very serpent-like being, definitely quite similar to the famous Nessie of Loch Ness. There are several shots from two separate angles, both taken at quite a far distance as the man recording was overseeing a large portion of the lake. The old grainy quality of the clip doesn't do it too many favors, but it's evident that there is something in the water, and it appears to be quite large. There isn't much discussion around this particular video, so it's hard to come to a collective conclusion on the true identity of the creature in the footage. Number 2 Coming in at number 2 is a bit of a shift from the normal sea monsters that you may have seen. This video was recorded in 2016, off a beach in Goderich, Ontario, Canada. It features an absolutely enormous circular creature that is just inches beneath the surface of the water, making it completely evident to onlookers. While the original clip only has just over 10,000 views, there has been a large amount of discussion around the subject of the video. Some speculate that it is a giant jellyfish, a giant ray, or a gigantic chocolate chip cookie. I'm a fan of the last theory, but I doubt that it's the case. In the original audio, the man recording is discussing what on earth the gigantic creature could possibly be. And he even comes to the conclusion that it may be a sea monster after his initial viewing of the strange entity. So far, no one has come up with a conclusive identification of this odd, uh, circular giant. What could this possibly be? Number 1 At the top spot in our countdown, we have some incredibly convincing and strange footage coming out of Lake Seljord in Norway. Tales of a creature in these waters have been discussed for hundreds of years, with the first written account being from 1750. Tales of the creature are so famous and widespread that the giant lake serpent, known as Sama, is depicted in the local coat of arms. This video, uploaded in 2012, was recorded by a 17-year-old girl on a family trip, and is widely considered some of the most convincing footage of an aquatic monster ever recorded. The creature in the water appears to be absolutely massive and very serpent-like, much larger than anything that is known to exist in the waters of this lake. The creature has several bumps on its back, similar to many other reported sightings of sea or lake monsters. With footage like this appearing in the modern age, it really begs the question, are our legends and folktales based more firmly on reality than we think? It is widely known that we have a lot to discover about what lies beneath our waves. As time progresses, so too does our knowledge of our aquatic inhabitants. Perhaps one day we will discover a scientific breakthrough that recategorizes these sea monsters from myths and legends to real, verifiable species. Until that day comes, keep your cameras pointed towards the water and always be ready to record a clip of the next unidentified sea monster caught on film.